We've got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valens regained control of the Gemini droids. Scorpio's gone, but we still have Gemini Prime. Could we use her to release the droids? Our only option is to remove Valen from power, but she's nearly untouchable on the spire. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indos are. Magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Vale. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. A nice sentiment. But how do I know you're telling the truth? Your lovely little droid can vouch for me. Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty. Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive. But I'll secure invitations, disguises, everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. Valen will be too busy celebrating to see the target on her forehead. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends, a host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. They may be rebels, but to them I'm still the Outlander. Are you sure they'll follow me? My friends are fully committed. You're the best chance we've got. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Make the arrangements. If there's even one slip-up, I'll see that you pay. You have nothing to fear, Outlander. I have a reputation to uphold, and a home to liberate. Everyone gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate Zakul and crash Valen's party. Stage is set for my daughter's ruin. Strike her down, and this empire will be yours to command. When I take the throne, how long before you call for my destruction? If I wanted you destroyed, I would have done it long ago. My fate is tied to yours. We're approved for landing. Endo really pulled through with our disguises. Let's suit up before we make landfall. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Excellent form. If you want something, spit it out. Your guests are arriving. They toast your name and hungrily await your speech. And the rebels. Adorned with shock collars as you requested. The party must be perfect. If you disappoint me... I'll watch you sizzle. I 
can't see a thing in this blasted disguise. How do I look? Hold still. I'm taking a mental image of you in that armor. Well, don't get used to it. It's already starting to chafe. Let's find Endo. You didn't tell me there would be holonet drones at the party. Isn't it wonderful? Our faces will be broadcast all over the cool. You'll be the talk of the spire. How's my hair? No ticket, no entry, period. Where's your supervisor? I will not be treated like this. And become a knight of the cool, I thought. Live a life of glory and intrigue. <laughs> Welcome, honored guests. Tonight, we celebrate our glorious leader, the one and only Empress Valen. Exiting the party is strictly forbidden. But honestly, who'd ever want to cut such a fantastic evening short? Steer clear of the Horizon Guard. If we're not careful, they'll see right through these disguises. I thought this was a party to celebrate the Empress. I wasn't aware of any special guests. The shock callers are a little unsettling, but traitors deserve it. Praise Empress Valen. Yes, yes, of course. Praise Empress Valen. Have you seen the creatures in the fighting pit? Mm, ghastly. Isn't it delightful? I'd love to take a hollow with it. Oh, that's a splendid idea. Do you think they'd let us? Traitor, fetch me another drink. Aaron, it's me, Nadia. We were neighbors for three years. Well, you must be mistaking me for someone else. But Aaron... I don't associate with traitors. Now, about that drink? What's up? You know we've got stuff to do, right? Lana, we're in the party. Do you read me? Loud and clear. We're plugged into spa security, ready to assist. My favorite knights. Welcome to the Grand Festival of Empress Valen. We must be careful. The Hollinet drones are broadcasting this party for all the galaxy to see. We could use this to our advantage. The more viewers we have, the more support the Alliance gains. Interplanetary celebrity status is great for funding. But first, we must free the rebels. Removing those shock collars won't be easy. You have any tricks up your sleeve? That I do. Party favors? Ion charges to attach to the security relays. Trigger them during Valen's big speech. The blast will disable the collars, leaving my compatriots free to join your attack. How did you manage to smuggle ion charges into a party? I have deceptively large pockets. I'll keep the party going while you set the charges. But once the task is done, I'll show the Empress what we're made of. The moment we've been waiting for is almost here. Remember, speaking during a royal address is punishable by death. Sorry, you don't have access. No entry until shift change, unless you've got our food order. I'm sorry, but the kitchen's off limits. We've got clearance. You need confirmation, take it up with Endo's all. I'll take your word for it. I've had enough of Endo to last me a lifetime. Try not to bother the cooks. The glazed kel is done. Wrong again, droid! This food isn't fit for a starving dog! Make another! I've already prepared 19 batches! And every one was a culinary abomination! Uh, Empress Valen deserves perfection, not excuses! Rations for the guards. This might come in handy. Anyone order food? It's about time. Go on in before they chew their arms off. Long live Empress Valen! The food's here! Finally. Thanks for dropping it off. 
a night captain's shield. With any luck, this will get us behind closed doors. Many years ago, the Eternal Empire sent sleeper agents into the Core Worlds. To spy on the lowly Outlands? Precisely. The most successful of these agents was codenamed Watcher Isaacs. He was a strong, loyal son of Zakul. Until the day he abandoned his homeland. Poor fool got homesick? No. He was stronger than you'll ever be. But still, he turned his back on us. Such are the temptations of the Outlands. We have had a breakthrough. I remember the last idiot who made that kind of promise. I'm still finding bits of him in my hair. I am confident in the results. You will soon be freed from your weakness. Prepare for my arrival. Oh, but first, I have traitors to kill. Said. We're almost there. Complimentary holograms of Empress Valen can be picked up in the reception area. Let her light up your home today. That's it for the food deliveries. Indo's going all out this time. I counted 400 bottles of Zakul and wine. Yeah, 398. And had a couple bottles for us. Wrote them up as breakage. <laughs> I taught you well. How about this lockdown? Don't get me started. I need to give a blood sample just to use the bathroom. I've got foreman's access and I'm not doing much better. I get it. You're a foreman. Just saying. No one's got it easy. That's the server room. Lift the lockdown and you'll be able to access the valuable data within. Stand back. Captains only. I am a captain. Now let me pass before I demote you to sanitation. My apologies, sir. Make yourself at home. Watch out. The Beastmaster's in a worse mood than usual, if that's even possible. You've lifted the lockdown, Commander. Pay the server room a visit, and secure Valen's precious data. What I say, Bam? Tell me what I said! Keep the kids healthy. Keep the kids healthy! But look at my kid over there. She look healthy to you? No. You're useless, Bev. Now give her the medicine, or I'll feed her you instead. But she won't eat it. Maybe if I put the medicine in her food. Oh! I don't know what Valen feeds her beasties, but must they sure give off a ripe stench? Do what I do. Stop breathing through your nose. If you think I'm sucking this nastiness into my mouth, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> what do you think's happening every time you talk? Oh, I hate you. Look out, Horizon Guard. Valen's beginning her speech. Ahead of schedule. tried to destroy me, but I ground them to dust. Now the Outlander hides in fear as my fleet rips through the galaxy. I am the wrath of the dragon's fire. 
I am your eternal empress. I'm going to enjoy shutting her up. You and me both. Let's ditch the armor. Give a speech to Crash. Today we celebrate the Eternal Empire's strength and watch our enemies suffer. The rebels who spit on Isaacs. And the worm who betrayed me. They deserve an eternity of torment. And no one, not even the Outlander, can save them. An empty promise from a feeble Empress. <laughs> So you're Indo's puppet master, or is father controlling you both? You're the only one under Valkorian spell. Does the public know about your conditioning? Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Ah! I will take everything from you. Was a cool. You can't win, Outlander. When I take your throne, I think I'll have you stuffed and used as a footrest. Clever. I'll have to remember that when I destroy you. Commander, look out! My sister down. Good news. We found Arkan. The more the merrier. Now I can kill both of Valkorian's children. Then we better get moving. Show them what we've got. Tonight got a bit too exciting for my tastes. 
I suppose I have Arkin's grand entrance to thank for that. You should have known a party like this would attract Arkin's attention. What am I, a blazing scion? Even I can't plan for this level of lunacy. Turn it to me, and we'll destroy the Outlander and Father together. Father planted this disease in my brain. Did you know? He never shared his secrets. Liar! Contusions aside, the rebels stand ready to fight. What are your orders? Charge the knights and keep them busy, no matter the cost. If anyone survives, they've earned a place in the Alliance. How reassuring. We'll shock the knights with our conviction. You heard the Outlander! For the cool! We've got a lock on Valen and Arkin. Head for the sky deck. Commander, we've cracked the intel you secured earlier. Stand by while I open a shortcut. Valen's on the roof. You can reach her if you hurry. What excitement! The Empress really knows how to throw a party. I can't imagine how she'll top this next year. Father's looking for you. This is between you and me. Valkorion has nothing to do with it. Even now, Father manipulates you. You invaded my empire, killed my mother. I will have revenge. The cool belongs to me. This time, I destroy you. This is the end, Alphalander. You will not take what is mine? I won't fall, not to you! Your time is over, Sarden. You will answer for your crimes against the galaxy. And what about Father's crimes? He destroys everything he touches. His home, his family, and soon, even you. There's no enemy I can't defeat. Not even Valkorion. I had that confidence once. Your destruction was inevitable. The weak always die to make way for the powerful. You're a monster! And you are a child. So this is how I die. With the entire galaxy cheering you on. End it, Outlander. Zakul, 
Look at your fallen emperor. Weak, pitiful, and destined to be forgotten. Struck down by the outlander who will take his throne. He ruled in Valkorian shadow. Now, he dies in mine. Bombard them! Don't stop until the Outlanders melted to slag! But your supporters... Kill them all! Lana! We need evac, now! I can't get to you. It's chaos. Head back to the landing pad. We're not out of this just yet. Mission accomplished. Sort of. Valen survived, but she's hated by half of Zakul. And Endo escaped with the rebels to fight another day. Minus the ones we lost in combat. You're leaving out the best part. I killed Arkan, and the whole galaxy watched. When you struck him down, I sensed something. As if his life force was flowing into you. It happened once before, when Valkorion died. My son cannot travel between hosts. You merely absorbed his strength. His spirit was obliterated. I don't feel Arkan's presence, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Skepticism is healthy. It will aid your ascension to the Eternal Throne and your defeat of Valen. My last surviving child. We are ready for your arrival. Father's leash has choked me long enough. It's time I break free. You should have left me, Anathema. You are my daughter. This is where you belong. Do you know? 
know what they did to me there. You needed discipline. You had to learn to control your power. The bond between us is growing stronger. You are glimpsing my memories. Valin mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind and teach her obedience. Sounds fun. I'm sure Valen loved it. It wasn't safe to send her anywhere else. Unchecked. Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. If she was such a threat, you should have just killed her. She was still my daughter. In her, I saw aspects of myself. I hoped she could become worthy of the throne. She failed me. Instead of focusing on the mistakes of my past, you should ask what this vision means for our future. I figured you were trying to manipulate me somehow. This was a warning. She wants to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galacta Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. <laughs> Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We trace the origin to that sector. Valen has to know we're looking for her. Could she be luring us there for an ambush? We'll keep our guard up, but if this was a trap, she would have made it easier for us to follow. I've heard stories of Nathema. Legend holds that the Force itself has been corrupted there. A legend to keep people away from the world. It won't work on me. Roger that, Commander. I'll prep the shuttle. Meet me there when you're ready. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. Valen survived here when she was only a child. You can handle a little uneasiness. Ignoring what we feel would be a mistake. It will only grow stronger as we approach the surface. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the Void. Taking us down. Greetings, Empress. It has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? Wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need me.
A great city once stood here. Now only ruins remain. Look at this. The cataclysm turned people to dust, yet a handful of trinkets somehow survived. It's worse here. The void, it's hunger. It wants to devour me, mind and spirit. Annihilate every trace of my existence. I'm not getting scared off by a bad feeling. Of course. We've come too far to give up now. The Void's draw is powerful, but it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. such a weapon as a child. <laughs> I fear none of my pets would have survived. Why did your beast attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorion! You told me you'd made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. Valkorion has given me free reign over his child. Death is the only line I am forbidden to cross. Fortunately, he has provided numerous subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Phelan, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. The methods they used to control her were harsh, but they worked. Interesting. They wanted to curb her power without creating an aversion to horrific violence. I made Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken corpse from every failed experiment. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Valen killed another Keeper today. 
She must learn that defiance has consequences. Isolation, fear, pain. Sometimes the simplest tools are the most effective. Conventional methods only go so far. But the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. I thought Valen would scream or cry, maybe even beg for mercy. But when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. I have returned to Nathema years after I once helped Valkorian tame his child. Now, Valen wants me to undo her conditioning. Failure is not an option. Sith, Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. The strong must break their chains, even if it means the weak must suffer. But the question is, will you prove stronger than Valen if she breaks her mental bonds? If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin. Running out of time. Come on. Valen hunted Senya to the shores of Ord Mantel. She eliminated her mother's knights. But let Senya live. Is this a sign of familial love? Or a predator toying with her prey? Only time will tell. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. At least you understand your purpose. Despite my loyalty to those I serve, my research sometimes has unfortunate side effects. Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. We can survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. Our problem has solved itself. Call Theron to pick us up. You'll never get out in time. I know a place will be safe, but I can't get there alone. I need someone to protect me along the way. Valen's power has driven the Keepers and Beasts mad.
Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. You're not my guardian, just a voice in my head that won't leave me alone. I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkorion? Ever since we arrived, he's been acting strangely. The Void could be affecting him. Or there could be more to Nathema than he's told us. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. I knew trusting you was a mistake. Now we're stuck inside an impregnable vault. Would you rather be ripped apart by the energy blasts outside? Besides, there is a way out. The vault has a backup generator, if you can reach it. Valkorion sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? sealed you in his vault unless he had a reason. Valkorion despises me. I knew him as Tenebrae, but my low-born son has worn many masks. Mishiet, Emperor of the Sith, Valkorion. His name does not matter. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madryas. I never thought of Valkorion as having a father. One of many offspring I sired. He was the least of my children. His mother, a nameless peasant. But he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madryas into this. You said this was once a lush and vibrant world. What happened? He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. He did something similar on Zyost. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. 
Anything in Valkorion's past I can use to defeat him once and for all. I know Tenebrae's weakness. This holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. Maybe I can turn the tables on Valkorion. Imprison him inside the holocron. And harness his power. He has taken steps to guard against capture, but this holocron is still the weapon he fears most. There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, release me from my prison, keep the holocron close, and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Lana's right. We need every available weapon to defeat Valkorion, including you. No! Release me! I beg of you! That explains Valkorion's behavior. He didn't want you snooping around in his vault. Hold on to the holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? Allow ships to leave orbit. Soon, there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. You need to haul jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. At the evac location, Commander. Just waiting on you. That place is about to come crashing down. Get out of there! Got you on my sensors. You're close. You can make it. Get in! You do love to cut it close, don't you? The 
Balin has broken her bonds. Now, she will be stronger than ever. She'll still die when I run my lightsaber through her. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Are you scared? You should be. Your mind games are nothing to me, Outlander. But do not lose focus on what matters. Valen must be stopped. That's only step one. Step two is getting you out of my head. Be careful what you wish for, lest you get it. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. That's why we need to strike now. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? As soon as we reach Odessa, we launch a counterattack. I was hoping for a bit of R&R &R after this mission, but you're the one calling the shots. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. Looks like Valen sent her entire fleet. Where's the gravestone? Odessan, I need a status report now. Valen caught us with our bridges down. Still installing the new upgrades. Gonna take a few minutes before we're in the air. Ground forces are holding the line until the gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. A full-scale invasion is a desperate move. But if it works, she can wipe out the Alliance in one fell swoop. Unless we beat her. You and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. I specifically ordered this battle to end quickly. The Alliance is showing unexpected resistance. We still have the advantage, but the price of victory will be high. Then pay it! The Outlander and Father are here. I will paint Odessan with their blood. We could use more firepower. Maybe we can find something to clear a path through this battle. Status update. Mando reinforcements heading Baywan's way. Baywan's forces were protecting the ship. What happened? They're still holding, but they need all the help they can get. My students and I sought to defend the gravestone. Enemy artillery slowed our progress. I got this. Ogarob gave me some toys to take out their big guns. Does Ogorob have any other fancy gadgets we could use? Everything was deployed with the troops. Now he's busy securing the base, keeping the enemy away from his research. Don't worry, though. I got everything I need to smash Valen's artillery. If we hit the enemy forces from behind, we buy the gravestone some time. Hurry, we can't lose the gravestone. Warming me, I need more time. I'm on it. Got the gravestone in my sights.
Area secure, Commander. For now. Another wave incoming! Theron, can you hold your position? Not for long. Gonna need some reinforcements. We can't lose the Gravestone. We're on our way. They can't hold the Gravestone much longer. Come on! Thanks for joining the party. Guess I sent out more invitations than I could handle. If you're planning something for our anniversary, let someone else organize it. Don't worry. That party will be much more intimate. If you hadn't been here, the Gravestone would already be lost. Then we both earned a pat on the back. Walkers coming our way. Too many. To me, the Gravestone's better than ever. If the Eternal Fleet thought the Gravestone was trouble before, they're in for a nasty surprise. We're still badly outnumbered. Let me see if I can change that. The Gravestone alone won't be enough to turn the battle. Valen's gunning for you personally, Commander. Maybe if you show up, it'll draw her down to the surface. Valen's so desperate to kill me and Valkorian that she won't be able to resist. Using yourself as bait is a dangerous game. You're gonna need some help. Theron and I will go with you. Hopefully we can distract her and get you close enough to end this. Before she ends us. Ogarov's bringing some new toys for the troops. Let's light the enemy up! Gravestone has joined the battle, but our fleet numbers make victory inevitable. Burn Odessin, and bring me the ashes. I want them for my garden. Father's pet. I was just talking about you. How many of your underlings do I have to butcher? Get down here and give me a challenge. Oh, I intend to. Now that I've broken Father's chains, I could crush you in a second. But that's too easy. I will chew up your friends and grind your precious alliance into paste. When I finally hunt you down, you will beg me to end your suffering. The longer you draw this out, the more time my agents have to infiltrate Zakul and steal away your throne. You're lying. My daughter has taken your bait. Better clear out some of these enemy troops before Valen shows up. Sana Ray is leading our force users in a counter-strike against the enemy flank. Valen will be here soon. I want status updates. Fried those artillery guns as promised. I guess they weren't happy about it. They kinda got me pinned down. I'm gonna need a little help. That's not the only one in trouble. Enemy ambush cut us off. I'm the only one left. Position's about to be overrun. Yeah, well, I've got about two minutes before they squash me like a bug. Even you cannot save everyone, Outlander. By choosing who shall live, you also choose who shall die. Are you ready for that burden? Vet, we're coming for you. I knew I could count on you. I'm not afraid to die. Just didn't think I'd go out like this. You can fight your way to freedom. I've seen enough battles to know the odds. Just win this war so my life means something. You're not dead yet, Torin. Keep fighting. After we help Vet, we'll come for you. I know how this ends. Just win the war. Don't let me die in vain. Let's move. Vet needs our help. We have to keep moving. Vet needs our help. She's a good kid. We won't let her down. 
This is taking too long. Vet can't hold out forever. Vet's tougher than she looks. She'll survive this. Vet, are you hurt? Roughed up a bit, but I'll survive. Not going to lie, I started to wonder if you'd make it. I said I'd come for you, Vet. I don't break promises with my friends. I'm grateful for that. Thank you. What about Torian? Torian, do you copy? We're coming for you next. Wrong again, Outlander. I found your Mandalorian pet. Now he's all mine. Leave Torian alone. Your fight is with me. At least we agree on something. You think holding him hostage is going to stop me from coming after you? No. I'm hoping it will bring you to me. You got what you wanted. I'm on Odessin. Now let's end this. I've been waiting far too long to kill you. So eager. I've broken father's chains. And now I'm going to break you. I'm sending you a location. We meet there. Whoa. Feeling a bit lightheaded. I'll stay here and recover while you go smack Valen all the way back to Zakul. has been breached. Fall back to the rally point. Ukarov's position is overrun. Send in troops to cover their retreat. Sonare's forces are being pushed back. Reinforcements heading her way. This is the end for you. We're taking heavy losses. Pulling back to set up a defensive perimeter. Finally, I was getting bored. And when I get bored, prisoners start losing limbs. It doesn't matter what happens to me, Commander. Just take her down! Let me speak to Father. Release Torian, and I'll see what I can do. You actually care for the life of this crawling worm? What did father ever see in you? Did he really think you could steal my throne? You are not worthy of the throne. You are not fit to rule the Eternal Empire. I'm more deserving than your new puppet. He can't even protect his own people. You really think killing some helpless underling has any effect on me? No, but killing you will have an effect on them. There's only one way to stop Valen. You know what you must do. Even Valkorian is too scared to face me now that my chains are broken. But we're not. Any last words? before I end your miserable life? I'm done talking. Father's words can't save you now. Once you fall, Odessin will burn. My full power has been unleashed. For a puppet, you fight well. This isn't over. Even now, my daughter is a threat. Oh, Father. You know me so well. I have no more power over Valen. Only you are strong enough to stop this. The Eternal Throne is mine!
The throne needs a strong ruler. Someone like me. Without Valen to drive them, her troops will have no will to fight. We did it. We won. Not yet. This doesn't end until I'm sitting on the Eternal Throne. I still can't believe Torian's gone. He sacrificed himself so our cause could live on. We will honor his memory along with everyone who fell defending Odessa. We need to talk about Valen's death. Her life force flowed into you when you struck her down, just like Arkans. Valkorion's children were both powerful, angry, and violent. Their spirits wouldn't just fade peacefully away when they die. It's not them I'm worried about. We both know Valkorion can't be trusted. He's up to something. Be prepared. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. Drummondcast is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We won't abandon an ally. I'm sending our fleet, Empress, with the Gravestone at its head. It's not just the Sith who are under attack, Commander. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. Falkorian, what did you do? You caused this, not I. The Eternal Throne sits empty. Leaderless, the fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. Ready the Gravestone. We're going to Zakul. Commander, what's wrong? I had another nightmare. I was about to take the throne, but Valen was there, waiting for me. She's gone now. It's her father we should worry about. Whatever he pulls, I'll be ready. Did you bring the Holocron? I've been studying it since we escaped Nathema. The relic's function remains a mystery, but its power is undeniable. If it can protect you from Valkorion... Do you actually believe that dusty trinket can harm me? I think it scares you for a reason. 
My only fear is that you will lose sight of our goal. Seek the Eternal Throne. We have sacrificed too much to turn on each other now. I... I felt his presence. How can you stand it? Valkorion and I have an arrangement. He rambles like a blowhard. I shower him with insults. I'm sure he loves that. Commander, you're needed on the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time. At last, the time has come to take the Eternal Throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. Problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade. Not even to flee for safety. The longer the fleet hammers the cool, the easier it will be to conquer. I hate to say it, but you have a point. There will be no world to conquer if we can't get past the fleet. Iocath's upgrades might be enough to smash the blockade. Then it's settled. When do we reach the cool? Now! Shield upgrades are ready for action. It's now or never. Break that blockade! To your battle stations, for the Alliance! Whatever happens down there, I... I just wanted to say... I love you. I love you too, Theron. You're going to look great sitting on that throne. It's time, you two. The escape pod is ready and waiting. So cool, here we come. They rolled out the red carpet. Someone needs target practice. Bullseye. Indozal reporting for duty. 
full of vigor and raring to serve the Alliance? Oh, that brass shot may have dislocated my shoulder. A lesser man would have broken our deal. I did send your rebels to die at Valen's festival. I would never betray a dear friend. As for the other rebels, I'm afraid they've turned sour on you. They were shouting awful things. Something about the Outlander using them as cannon fodder and plans to blast you into a million pieces. The rebels are your friends. Can't you talk any sense into them? I may have exaggerated our friendship. At any rate, they made it quite clear they're done with the both of us. They're beginning the attack. May I Bella save you, Outlander? Victory is almost upon us, but you ignore a closer threat. The Sith who fled her empire. And the charming spy, sired by Republic heroes. Do they truly serve you? Or do they plot your downfall to claim the throne for their respective factions? Lana and Theron gave up everything to build the Alliance. They won't turn against me now. We shall see. The cool burns. The Republic suffers. And the Sith Empire crumbles. Only you can command the throne and harness the power of the Eternal Fleet. There it is. The Eternal Throne. Watch your step. There's no telling what traps Valen left in her wake, not to mention Valkorion. We're ready for anything. May the Force serve you, Commander. Fleet stop firing. You did it, Commander. Well done. After years of strife, you have become Emperor of Zakul, Commander of the Fleet, and heir to the Eternal Throne. Kneel before me, Valkorion. It is you who will kneel. What's happening? The Korean! I once offered you mercy in this very room, but you refused to bow. Now, you have no choice. Say one more word and I'll... Bow. 
As you command, my emperor. You're an exemplary pawn. One I forged into a vessel of supreme power, worthy of preserving my spirit. Now I take your body as my own, and rule once more as the immortal emperor. Stop talking, and show me what you're made of. So be it. Wake up. Wake up. What happened? Commander, formerly the Emperor's Wrath. You wear our clean skin, but you're the same person you always were. It's finally happened. I've gone insane. Not yet, but that will change if you don't act. Tokorian shattered your mind and tossed you into the abyss of your psyche. He thinks you're dead, but you survived by assuming his form. Find the Holocron. Save yourself. Take the Holocron. Save yourself.
the commander's alive. Valkorian's taken hold of his mind, but he's fighting back. Incoming! Impressive. My head is not halfway house for immortal sin, but I guess you found that out the hard way. An oversight I will not repeat. When you struck down my children, I consumed their essence. Their spirits are now mine to command. Release us, Father. Or I'll chop you into little pieces. Submit, my children. As you wish. I knew you were up to something the second I absorbed Arkham Spirit. Yet you still played right into my hands. I have one last surprise for you, Tenebrae. Father. Your mother should have obeyed my orders and drowned you when she had the chance. I ended mother's suffering long ago. But your torment is just beginning. You both poison everything you touch. It's no wonder your children turned against you. Tenebrae was an abomination long before I first met him. Enough! I killed you once, father. Now, my offspring will share the pleasure. Annihilate them! I'll cover you. We fight together, we die together. Now you're talking. Would you truly side with the Outlander who killed you and your mother? The Outlander didn't kill us. You did. Help father's puppet if you want, brother. I'm not so forgiving. You killed Mother with Agony. Thanks to you, I'll never get to crush the life on her frail body. Your mother died knowing she failed her empire. 
and her family. Did she scream? Endlessly. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm, father. The tables have turned. You have won over my children. Now you will all be consumed by eternity! You really think you can face the full power of the eternal emperor? <laughs> this can't be happening! Enough! More holocrons, an arsenal of super weapons. Nothing will stop me. You're wrong, Valkurian. Kneel before the dragon of Sakul. against Phelan. You've spent a hundred lifetimes putting people in cages. Here's yours. Impossible! Kneel, father! Kneel before the dragon of Zakho! There is no escape. Senya. You've turned your back on this family for the last time. I am the immortal Emperor. You cannot defeat me. Look at us. One big, happy family. United by our hatred of one man. Husband. Father. Monster! Say goodbye to your family. A god has no family. Before I graced you in my presence, you were nothing but motes of filth drowning in the chaos of the void. And you, a lone Sith, betrayed by your master and left for dead. I gave you a second life, anointed you my wrath, forged into a being worthy of the eternal throne. <laughs> Without me, you are nothing. I am not your wrath, Valkorian. I am your executioner. Remember me when your alliance burns to ash. Valkorian. The pain only feels like it lasts an eternity. Ha! How does it feel to be erased from the galaxy? You did it. You defeated Valkorion, once and for all. No more nightmares, no more interruptions from a crusty ghost. I can get used to this. You can finally enjoy some alone time without Valkorion whispering in your ear. But first, a speech. I've opened a system-wide hollow channel. The galaxy's ready to meet the new Emperor.
They will bow to me before the day's over. People of the galaxy, the Eternal Empire has been crushed. Its fleet now answers to me. From this day forward, Sakul will surrender to Alliance control, and no one will speak the name Valkorion ever again. You've suffered the Eternal Fleet's rage. Watch cities fall, friends die. In time, these wounds will heal. But the fleet is now mine. You must never forget its strength, and the fate that awaits anyone who challenges me. I am your Emperor, conqueror of Zakul, and destroyer of the Eternal Empire. Under my rule, we begin a new era in galactic history. The Age of the Eternal Alliance. Missing the party. Funny, I thought you passed out on the dance floor. I got a second wind. Let me guess. You saw the intelligence reports. The Republic's preparing for war. And the Sith Empire's not far behind. So much for our friendly pact with Asina. The Eternal Alliance is only hours old, but already I sense dark forces massing against us. Uprising, sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate. <laughs>